Welcome back to Maintenance Made on a Budget. Today we're going to be painting this bathroom sink top with Rust-Oleum epoxy paint. And I'll throw a quick picture of it here. So today we're going to be doing that. Why am I doing this? Well, it's just because that stuff works good. And also, um, perhaps maybe you have a kitchen sink that looks pretty trashed or maybe messed up. Maybe you just want to remodel and you're just trying to do some simple updates to your kitchen. I mean, I'm sorry, your bathroom, and you don't necessarily have the money to rip out a whole vanity. These vanities can definitely run upwards of 600 plus, depending on where you go. So why not do a quick epoxy paint? Now, if you view my channel, I've did some other videos using this epoxy paint. It held up really well. I did kitchen countertops. Um... On the countertop, it worked very well, but in the sink of that kitchen, it did start to come apart inside. And uh, that I would say probably after six months. But realize that that was a kitchen sink and it was heavy used, heavily used, every day washing dishes in it. Um, you know, bathroom sinks, maybe not so much, and maybe you can get away with it a little bit longer. The top part where it wasn't so abused and used held together just fine and still works great today. So, before, you know, and so take a look at those videos if you want to get an idea of what I've used with it. And I thought, you know, I've got an extra sink here that I'm redoing for just that purpose. Maybe you're trying to save some money and you want to replace that whole vanity. You can certainly do something like this where it would kind of get you by, you know, the can isn't too much. You can get them at your local hardware stores, the epoxy paint. And, um, you know, get your bathroom looking clean and new for maybe another six months to a year, maybe longer, depending on how heavy you use it until you have the money saved up to replace the whole thing. All right. So we're going to just show how you would do that. First thing is first, um, I'm going to tape off the faucet. We're going to do, I've already kind of wiped it down with cleaning solution, whatever you have, comment, whatever you use to clean your bathrooms or your kitchens or whatever, clean it up, wipe it down, get all the dirt off. Um, I did that already, so now I'm going to tape this over off here, and we're going to do a light sand. The only reason I'm doing the sanding is just to kind of rough up the surface so it'll grab the epoxy paint better. And the, the sand, I'm just using old sandpaper. This is a 150 grit, but it's for um, wood products. You know, I'm just going to fold it up and just do a light, quick surface sand okay it's nothing crazy it's not gonna hurt anything the only reason we're doing this is because i just want to rough up the top so that you know the paint has something to grab onto so i'm gonna do this i'm gonna keep working once you get down in here you're just gonna go like this right and i'm just gonna work it back and forth side to side nice you know there's, there's no real how-to directions just get in there and go you know nice even strokes and then of course when i get to i have some things here it could be old paint from some type of project you just get your spatula just you know and just kind of work that off like that okay maybe you can use an old kitchen knife whatever you've got But you just want to get all those up, and you can see in here I've got a little, I don't know what that is. It looks like some old paint from a, another project. I'll just get that off. Okay. Now, if you're doing this, as you've seen, you can tell this has been removed from the actual vanity. If you're doing this, you're definitely going to want, if you want, go underneath the sink and possibly even disconnect your plunger or just simply close it. As a matter of fact, I would just close it. Close down your plunger and then take that off around. Get uh, a knife and cut along the edge and make it like, you know, clean. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, got everything taped up. And I'm just going to get a knife. Just cut along the edge like that. Off. 
like that. You get the idea. And I'll finish that up. All right, so I got everything taped off. I sanded everything down, wiped it off with cleaning solution and a damp rag. I sanded it again a second time, wiped it down a second time with a rag and cleaning solution. Now everything's dry and we're ready to use the epoxy Rust-Oleum paint. Um, washable and moisture resistant. Okay, smooth factory finish. Sorry for the paint. This is left over from previous projects I've done. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, whatever you feel more comfortable with, you, you should have a nice pan to pour the paint inside. And then you can use a roller. I also use these type of rollers. Um, they're little foam pads, right? Uh, which I will use for the outside but to get in the sink portion i'm using an old brush and uh just show you how that comes out so we'll get in there okay. got some gloves on okay and then when i'm doing the inside i'm just gonna start Going like that, and going like that. You know, just straight, even strokes. Okay. And then just do the best you can. Not much skill is required. Okay, and you just go around, you know, you, you might see little bubbles, possibly, maybe not. Um, don't worry about that. Okay. When you're using this epoxy paint, the fumes aren't that bad. If you've ever worked with tile paint, you'll understand that's really bad. Uh, those two-part mixes. So you might want to have some type of ventilation if you're doing this while it's still installed on your kitchen or i mean i'm sorry your bathroom's vanity maybe run the exhaust fan if you have one or connect a little portable fan but it's really not at all that bad so anyway just going to do nice strokes uh brushes right and uh when i get to this part you know i'm just gonna kind of go up don't be afraid to get a little bit on your tape that's why you put it there right and we're going to keep working around the sink inside part and then once i'm done with that i'll do the outside edges um, with my roller yeah should get the point and then uh I could probably do this whole thing just with the brush, actually. You know, what? like I said, if you got something small like this, whatever you're more comfortable using. Um, okay. And then... Um, if you're concerned about some of these brush, uh, brush marks, don't worry. Once it dries, it all kind of goes away. All right. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and finish that off and show you the end result all right finished product so it's still not completely dry yet uh so i don't want to touch it it's real tacky uh, but i believe it's anywhere between four to six hours i'm not exactly sure I, I don't remember and of course my can is painted over but the directions are on the can so just know that when you're going to do this it is going to have a dry period that you're going to have to keep all hands you know off of it um, but you know it works really well there are a little bit of brush marks so what i normally do and it's for one it's not completely dry yet uh, but two i used an old brush so i definitely recommend getting a brand new brush get the you don't need anything crazy uh, or just get the foam rollers um, foam rollers will have a little bit you'll see more air bubbles coming out uh, i it it all pops you know all the bubbles go away and it, it smooths out this 
paint, uh, this material is a really thick, clear liquid or a thick liquid. So as you're painting it, it kind of just, you know, blends all in itself. Um, but it's a great product guys. It'll work. It will renew your bathroom vanity. Um, and if you don't use it heavily, it should last for a good while, at least to get you through to whatever you need to use it for. If you're saving money to replace it down the road next year or six months from now, whatever. Um, if you've used this product and it didn't work out for you, comment down below. Um, I got a bunch of various different comments on my other videos about how well or how didn't well it worked. But generally speaking, uh, it works good. I've also used this for my washer and dryer. And uh, my next project is I'm going to be doing a bathroom uh, shower on an RV. That's the next project coming up here shortly. So if you'd like to see how that comes out, tune in to my channel, subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, we'll keep the videos coming. Thanks, guys.